Hi and welcome to another Hero Arts digital video. Today I'm working in Microsoft Word. You can see it here at the top. And I'm running off the Office 2007 Home Edition. And this is the screen that it gets me. This is just a new document that I opened up. And these documents are in an 8.5 by 11 format. I'm trying to get to the bottom and it shows you. Let me scoot back to the top. Um, down here at the bottom you have a zoom scale and I can zoom just by sliding this then you can see the entire page of your document. Um, this is a great size when you're just going to go print off some of our digital images and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to open things up and insert some pictures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click insert which I'm already on. Let me go back to the home page start you over. So what you'll do is you'll find insert and go to picture and click that and what it'll do is it'll bring you up a screen and depending on where you've saved your digital images you'll be able to find them there. I keep mine on an external hard drive because I do all the digital processing for the kits so mine's on my passport F. Let me get in here and I have them dated by the date that I load them up on two pieces in a bucket but here's how I organize mine. Um, I know what I want is in this. Uh, I'm going to go to Spookies, which is a really cute Halloween set since I'm working with Halloween ATCs this week. And in the kit, you can see what you have all in your kit. And if I go to a different view, I always like to work in a larger view. Um, you're going to find your stamps is what you want. You go ahead and insert and then you can see your images of what you want to work with. I'm choosing this little cat here for my ATC and if you notice when you go ahead and open that up it's a bit bigger than what you want and a way to judge the size that you want is to look up here at your ruler. Uh, my ATC is two and a half by three and a half so I need to scale this down and I'm just going to go to the bottom here and I'm going to just grab the corner and I can just scoot it up and that shrinks this down. I think I might want to shrink it down just a bit more. That should fit on there pretty nicely. I am going in a vertical format for my ATC so this this will work for me. Uh, I'm just going to work with one image right now but if you're going to do a bunch of ATCs you could go ahead and copy this and I just right clicked on that and then you can right click and click paste and you can duplicate these over and over and over again so if you're making several ATCs you could just keep copying now also I'm going to be cutting these out so I'm not worried about the space in between um, so I might go ahead and print this as it is kind of cute with four cats in a row um, so when you go to print, just go to your menu key here and we're going to go to print. Now this is going to bring up my printer information which might be different than your printer information but this is how I work with it. So what I'm going to do is go to properties and I want the best possible line imagery that I can get so I'm going to tell it best photo and if I stay on plain bright white paper it is a little sketchy so what I'm going to tell it is that it's doing a picture so I'm going to go ultra premium photo paper now of course your, your settings might be different but I'm going to go ahead and click print and my printer software will go ahead and open up um, this is just a general idea how to go ahead and print these. Go ahead and cut them up and make your projects. And here's my printer. It's going to go ahead and print out my documents, which I can't really show you, but I'm going to minus this out. Um, once you're done printing, you can go ahead and color them in. And I'm also printing them onto a nice cardstock, um, so it's not just regular printer paper, because I want it to be a little more um, thicker paper so I can put it onto my ATC. Well, that's the conclusion of how to quickly print your projects 
in Word. You can also do color images, black and white images, um, depending on what you want to do for your, how much ink you want to use in your printer. Uh, I like to color things in, so the black line images work really well for me. Well, that concludes this Word document, how to print digital images. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Thank you.